Oh my god. Oh god, I look like I'm on drugs. Oh my god, I'm not on drugs. Welcome to Pint Sized, where beer is art, and art is beer. Welcome to Pint Sized, where beer is art, and art is... Hey, Welcome to Pint Sized, where beer is art, and art is beer. Stillwater Artisanal have been rocking the beer world since 2010, when Baltimore born and bred Brian Strunky decided to drop his international DJ career and set out to create some of the most unique and exciting beers in the world. Every recipe, every can, every sip is doused in culture, social commentary and politics. And their cans resemble works of modern art, not some trashy beer. <coughs> this is their Extra Dry, a saison with sucky rice and dry hopped with citra, Halatau Blanc and sterling, coming in at 4.2%. Before we get this stunning still water beer into a can, just thought I'd share a little bit of news with you, my pint-sized posse. There wasn't an episode last week because I was off to the stunning city of Verona, where I decided to become the future Mr. Hayden. No, that doesn't work. I proposed to my girlfriend Becky, who agreed, so she's insane. Anyway, onward with this work of modern beer art. So here it is, the stunning Stillwater Extra Dry. Look at that can, that is a beaut. Extra Dry, sake style, season ale. 4.2% ingredients, water, malted barley, sake rice, hops, and yeast. You would remember a while back we had a Stillwater involved in the collaboration on the show, but this is the first time we've had their, one of their, oh, that, fuck him, pungent. After watching, you should head over to Stillwater's website. It's like a, it's like a gallery of words that I don't understand. Anyway, here we go. Oh, that is pale as the dew drops. Oh, that's, that's green. Holy fuck, that's green. Oh, that's a stunner. Oh, that's a stunner. Whoa. Hey, you calm down there. You calm down. Oh no. <coughs> okay, that was a good start. Epic carbonation on there. Trying to get that one on the camera. Buzzing billiards. That is popping up out of there. Massive, bright white head. Oh, look at that colour. That is an off yellow green. Little bit of haze, but lovely paleness at the bottom. That's a view. It was a bit dull on camera, but... Hopefully I can edit it to make it look spectacular. Let's give it a smell. Oh, citrus. Mmm, just delicate pine. Oh, yeah. A mm, little bit of earthy as well. Oh, just a delicate forest walk in the spring. Oh, cheers. Mmm. Oh, yeah. What the? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yum. Yum, yum. Oh, Sammy Carruthers, that's good. Oh, okay. Okay, now I go awful. Oh, okay. So refreshing. Oh, it's just so light and delicate. Nice hoppy bite at the end. Ah, it's pretty thin. There's not much carbonation there, despite how it looks. But ah, that's not to its detriment. You're left with a lovely, clean palate at the end of it, making you to want to go back for more. It's got that nice, kind of sacky rice cleanliness to it. And it's got a lovely citrus flavour too. Ah, oh, that is so light. Mm, that is absolutely delicious. God, I would get hammered on those on a spring Tuesday. Yeah, that's a triumph. That tastes like somebody has concentrated on it. Sublime. If you've had this one, let me know what you think. Do you think it's a thin mess? Or do you think it's a lovely, delicate, hoppy citrus delight? Drop me a comment in the comments box below. And I'll probably reply in a few weeks. Oh, I've got more, that's so exciting. Yeah! That's all for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Next week, we are pitting two beers against one another. One from one side of the Atlantic, one from the other. Representing the UK, we've got Left Handed Giant, and from the States, we've got Left Hand Brewing. And in an episode that we are calling Left Handed Brewing Beer Theme... <laughs>
It's going to be a corker. We'll see you then, same time, next Sunday. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like what you saw. Head over to Facebook, Twitter, and Bebo. I'll see you all there. Cheers. Thank you.